mark. Gets it. Go! Find the green bone. These two teams are digging through dirt, trying to be the first to unearth chocolate bones. The team that digs them first will be really, really cool with 20 bucks in control of the show that, like, really, really digs itself. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> super sloppy double down. Super sloppy double dare host, a like really, really cool dude, Mark Summers. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, wow. And welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is the show where we run through obstacles and we give away super duper prizes and we get messy in the process. Let's meet our team to my right. They call themselves the Killer Daisies, Trisha and Greg. What was that? Sound like somebody cleared their throat on the microphone, Harvey. Did you hear that? I have no idea. No <laughs> idea like that. All right, Trisha, there it is again. What is it? We're having like grumbling bears here. Uh, it says you want to be an organ transplant surgeon. Now, I think that's a very noble profession, but doesn't it give you the creeps to touch those things when you think about it? No? No, not really. That's great. Have you ever been in an operation and seen anything done like that? Well, I've seen, I've seen like television shows, uh -huh. documentaries and things. That's great. This sort of gives me the willies, but I guess that's why I'm a game show host and not a doctor. And Greg wants to be either a chef or an actor, and what will determine which you do? I don't know. I think it depends on how my grades go in different subjects. Okay, good. All right, you have $20, and let's talk to the team on my left. They call themselves the Daredevils, Steve and Chrissy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this noise is. We're going to try and determine that, folks. It's just sort of coming out of nowhere. And uh, we'll... <laughs> there it is again. It sounds like the blob. Steve, you collect valuable baseball cards as opposed to invaluable baseball cards. What's the most valuable card you have? Uh, Pete Rose, 1965. And that's worth how much? About 140. Not bad. And uh, Chrissy, it says you want to be a, a DEA agent. I don't know what that is. It's a drug enforcement agent. Really? Yeah. And you want to go out there and arrest all those bad people that are doing things with drugs? Yeah. That's great. I think that's a terrific profession. All right, let's talk about the show where Daring for Dollars will double your bucks, and here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always, I mean absolutely always, double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take a physical-type challenge. I just want you folks to realize that this is a real color. It's not on the charts, but... Uh, I lost the bet and I had to wear this. I think it's a great tie. Abby, this is the tie you bought me, right? Looks good. All right. Uh, good luck to the Daredevils. Killer Daisies, control with this question. Which Peanuts character is most in need of a bath? For Tanner, you can dare them. Oh. Pigpen. Yes, you're right. At $10, you now have 30. Pigpen is the answer. <laughs> Tell me, in hockey, how many goals equals a hat trick? Three. Three is right. Yes, that is true. The reason we know that is uh, our uh, camera person over here. What camera are you on? Is that two, Aldo? Aldo Farnese, the uh, super camera person here, is the producer of the Philadelphia Flyers hockey team, right? Right over there. Grant, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Aldo. <laughs> okay, Trisha. Greg, Night of the uh, Crash Test Dummies. It's a collection of cartoons by what popular cartoonist? Gary Larson. You're right. Boy, you guys are batting a thousand today. $50 for the Killer Daisies. No money yet for the Daredevils. They haven't had a chance yet. Which of the following is not a pair of famous explorers? Is it Livingston and Stanley, Lewis and Clark, or Martin and Lu Lewis? Martin and Lewis? Yeah, you're right again. $60 for you. Again. What actor plays Sonny Crockett's partner on Miami Vice? Oh, what's his name? Philip Michael Thomas. You're not going to give them any chances today, are you? $70 now for Trisha and Greg. They have answered every question correctly so far. Tell me, what park is home to Yogi Bear? Hey, boo boo. What? Jellostone. Jellostone? Uh, one more time. What is it? Uh, what did you say? The first answer is what I have to Jello. Jellostone is incorrect. It's Jellystone. No dare at stake, no money changing place. But Steve and Chrissy, you can get on the board with this question. In radio, what does FM stand for? It's worth 10, or you could dare them. There. Now we're 20. FM, do you know what it stands for? Or you can double dare him back. Frequency modulation. Yes, you're right again. Add another $20. <laughs> Have that smirk on your face, Greg. I see you. Uh, linonophobia. If you had linonophobia, what would you collect? Tin foil, string, or John Lennon songs? Mm. 
Or you could dare them. Dare. We're 20. Linonophobia. What would you collect if you had that? Tinfoil, string, or John Lennon songs? Double dare. Now we're at 40. Are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Uh, it's string, actually. We have a $40 physical challenge for Trisha and Greg right down over here. Follow me, if you would. This one is called Slime Them All, and that's because you will all have slime on your body at one point or another. And uh, let's see, who would like to start up standing up and who would like to be sitting down? Makes no difference, I guess. Stand up. You'll stand up, and you'll start over here with this head cup, and you'll come over here with this other little uh, contraption on your head. When I say go, oops, that's got to stay on top there, you turn around and pull on this chain. And what will come down? Well, some slime will come down, and you have to fill your cup as much as possible. Then you have to turn around in this direction facing this container and having this down just a tad like that lean over and as she pours that cup into this funnel you must try and fill this container past the line all right so you'll be slimed you'll be slimed and i believe we need some goggles for this as a matter of fact so why don't we put some goggles on this young lady and uh i think we're fine because you have the head covering yourself right over there okay we have 30 seconds to fill it past the line on your mark get set go <laughs> Welcome back. It's still round one here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. And uh, gee whiz, with $130, the Killer Daisies are just doing killer material here. They're doing great. And uh, so far, the Daredevils haven't had a chance. Quick question on the last uh, question we had. If you had linonophobia or linonophobia, what wouldn't you collect? Was it wood or wouldn't? It was string because you'd have a phobia. It went to a physical challenge, so we get to carry on anyway. Okay. On what old TV show could you find the gang hanging out at a restaurant named Arnold's? It bring you to 140. Happy days. Happy days are here again. Sunday, Monday, happy day. Add the number of stars on today's U.S. flag with the original number of American colonies and give me the answer. We bring you to 150. 63. Yes, right again. Golly. 150 to zero. According to Glamour magazine, how much money does Cher claim to spend each year on shoes? Is it 1,000, 6,000, or 10,000? Or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $20. Gosh, I hope you get on the board here. According to Glamour Magazine, how much money does Cher claim to spend each year on shoes? Thousand, six thousand, or ten thousand? Six thousand. No, it's ten thousand dollars, believe it or not. Twenty dollars goes over here to the Killer Daisies. Ten thousand dollars. What 1987 movie featured a character named Johnny Castle? Dirty Dancing. Yes, right again. One hundred and eighty dollars. If someone is celebrating their silver wedding anniversary, how many years have they been married? 25. You're right again, $190. 25 is the answer. Killer daisies. Of the bodies of water with the word ocean, the Pacific Ocean is the largest. What's the smallest in the world? It's worth 10. Bring it to 200, or you could dare them. Dare. Yeah. Now worth $20. Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. What is the smallest? Arctic Ocean. You are right. Add $20. Nice job there, Steve. Control to the Daredevils with $20 in this $10 question. Now, according to People magazine, when asked when he'd work with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sly Stallone said what? I think I'd say never ever or not in your lifetime, darling, or as soon as he does as many stupid films as I've done. Or you could dare them. There. Now, worth 20 when uh, asked if he'd work with Arnold Schwarzenegger, did Sly Stallone say, I think I'd say never ever, not in your lifetime, darling, or as soon as he does as many stupid films as I've done? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 40, or uh, we can take a uh, physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's a not in your lifetime, darling, and we have a physical challenge right down here for Steve and Chrissy. And uh, you're gonna like this one. 
Right over in this neck of the woods, Steve and Chrissy. In here we have pies, and over here we have cherries. When I say go, you have to stick your face in those pies, and you must have eight cherries deposited in this container in 20 seconds or less to get $40, all right? You guys need the money. Let's see if it happens. On your mark, get set, go! Get those cherries. Oh, Let's wipe off your faces and move back up. 230 to 20 is what we have here. And Killer Daisies have control one more time. And here's the next question. Uh, okay, what uh, U.S. city covers the largest area? To what, Tanner, you could dare them. Yeah. Now we're at $20. What U.S. city covers the largest area? Could double dare them? Back? Double dare. All right, now. <laughs> Anchorage, Alaska, and that sound means it's the end of round one with $230. Trisha and Greg, the killer <laughs> Two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear the sound, that means the game is over. Going for $40, control at round two. Put these containers of a milk-like substance into your little uh, udders, and uh, that will hopefully go down into this area. And the first team to go past the line gets $40 and control of round two. Mm -hmm. On your mark. Get set. Go! Put it in there. And Stop right there and towel yourselves off. You can take that off and let's move up and play some more super sloppy double there. So Steve and Chrissy now have $60, and in this round, it's 20 40 and then 80 on a double dare, so they could catch up rather quickly. And whoa, nice uh, save there, Greg. You all right? <laughs> he was slipping, but he caught himself. All right, Chrissy and Steve, here's a $20 question. What U.S. president was nicknamed the Rough Rider? So bring it to 80 or you could dare them. There. Now worth $40. What U.S. president was nicknamed the Rough Rider? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 80 or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It's Teddy Roosevelt and we have an $80 physical challenge for Steve and Chrissy right down over here. Oh. <laughs> hey guys. Where you been? I was just at Fun House, and I saw this guy doing a trick on a skateboard, and I wanted to try it. Oh, what? Oh, yeah? You know, Fun House, a show that looks like Double Dare? Yeah, a heck of a lot like... Oh, wait a minute, guys. High five, huh? All right, high five, yeah. High five. Okay. I tell you what, why don't you guys... Uh, why don't you move over in this direction, and why don't you move over in this direction? Yeah, I've seen that show. It's amazingly similar to this program. Mark, it? Mark, Mark, Mark. Yes, yes. yes. Hi, we don't have enough shtick in this yet. <laughs> Every kid in America just called, and they want to see us demonstrate how this is going to work. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah. So why don't you get right over there, young fella, and catch I this? I thought we had an unlisted phone number. No, no, no. Every kid in America you just got on the phone with them. All right. Oh, this, my. This, this is, is how this is going to work, guys. Here. Why don't you hold this? Now, Mark, well, of course, what the uh, you guys pay attention to this now. you got to load this up with a lot of real good goo, all right? Put that in your thing, and then you get some cherries and throw it on here like this, and then you get some chocolate syrup. And the idea is to take this upside down. This Frisbee has to go across to your partner, and your partner has to catch However many Mark tells you, all right? But Mark will demonstrate now just this perfect catch. Here we go. Ho! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Good luck, guys. Sir. You know, it makes the jacket look a little better, doesn't it? Can we, <laughs> can we have a towel here? There is more chocolate on me. Anyway, you have, to catch, uh, you have to catch two of those. Thank you, Robin. In 20 seconds or less. And I just proved that it can be done. So uh, let's see if it happens. Hi, how are you? And at the end, you have to give each other a high five. On your mark, get set, go! Two and 20 seconds gives you $80. Put your truck in the water. Get set in the cross. <laughs> okay, all right, let's move over here and play some more super sloppy double there. Oh, okay, you know, Robin, you ought to get a cheerleading out. Well, no, no, probably not. All right, yeah, we have a $20 question for Steve and Chrissy. 
What is a Zambomba? Is it a native of Zamba? Is it a drum-like instrument, or is it the French version of La Bamba? It's worth 20, or you can dare them. Dare. Now worth 40. A Zambomba. <laughs> it's a drum-like instrument. That sound means it's the end of the game with $230. The Killer Daisies have won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. Congratulations. $115 a piece. More important, a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. Daredevils, you played a great game, making your move coming from behind. $70 a piece. You were great contestants. And Harvey, what lovely party gifts do we have for them today? Well, Marcus. <laughs> Daisies, Trisha and Greg currently have $230, going for eight prizes in 60 seconds or less, starting off with the one-ton human hamster wheel, and Trisha, you do this, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. walk around, make those lights light up, and when it hits the six, you jump up and grab that flag. You don't pass it, you run to obstacle number two, but let's find out what the prize is here first. Hey, it's from Casio, it's the SKA Sampling Keyboard. You can record a sample of any sound from raindrop to balloon top and play it back, and it's from Casio. Your hair is so sticky, I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, Craig, you go into obstacle number two, which is the tank. Go into those huge buckets of balls that we have here on a daily basis and grab that flag and uh, pass it to your partner, and here's the next prize. It's a selection of rugged and tough, lightweight sport luggage from Outdoor Products featuring the Devil's Key Bag and Foot Bag of Cordura Nylon by DuPont by Outdoor Products. Trisha, you become human sushi today as you go through one, two, three little areas of uh, all sorts of gak and uh, gee fish and avocado, and you end up right over here with the flag in your hand and this prize as well. Yes. Number four is Hunt and Peck, and it's a large typewriter, and you find the right key, which puts up the right little uh, situation right over here, and then there's a flag on the other side, and then there's a prize, and Harvey will tell you what it is. It's Magna Mountain Bikes this time, Mark. More power to climb and accelerate. Magna, the hot new name on the streets, distributed by Dynacraft Industries, Incorporated. Number five is the Big Kahuna, and let me come over here for a second, and uh, we have a young lady who comes in from New York. Hi, come on over. This is Barbara. Now, Barbara is the, uh, the very important person who's... Uh, Yes. She works with Jeffrey Darby, who's my boss, and she came down from New York. And Do you know how this one works? No. Don't have a clue. Well, let me explain it to you. Come over here. This is a large uh, slide, you see, and they go up this uh, little thing here, and you must remember to get the flag all the way up there, and then you come down this slide into the water, and then your job is to say, Harvey, tell them what they'll win. Harvey, tell them what they'll win. Well, boss. <laughs> Kid Wash, you must come through <laughs> right over here and get clobbered like I just did. Through the rollers and over here to the flag. Pass that flag to your partner very quickly and win this. From Casio, it's the DG10 Digital Guitar. Features include 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. DG10 has 20 bread neck, sustained reverb effects, too. Any questions? No. How about you? No. Nope. All right, there she blows. You either hit this key, this key, this key, or this key, this key, this key. You spit out the flag by doing that, and then you'll win what prize? It's the man <laughs> You want to be here with about eight or ten seconds remaining. Reach up under those nostrils, grab that flag if you have it in your hand. In 60 seconds or less, what's the grand prize today, Harvey? <laughs> Clock. Good luck. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go.
promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare. And by Nintendo. The Nintendo power set with the exciting power pad. You and your friends will run, skip, and jump your way to victory only from Nintendo. And also by Thunder Wheels. Get ready for pure driving excitement. Durable, safe, and fun to drive. The ultimate driving machine that takes go-karting into the 21st century. It's Thunder Wheels. This is your announcer, Javi Sin. Join us back here next time for another big match right here on...